What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. Woz and in today's video I'll be testing another moneymaker from the Osiris wiki and this time it's hunting implins in Puro Puro. Now I'm going to go through all of these money makers no matter how tedious the task is and I'll switch things up depending on what you guys want me to do in the comment section below. Now according to the Osiris wiki you can make around 560k GP profit per hour which is not too bad and it's also an equivalent of getting two dragon implin jars. Now I have done this method maybe once or twice at the start of my account but this is great for iron men to catch imps for clues and other miscellaneous items. Now as always there is a few requirements in order to make this worth doing and that is by having 83 hunter and that is strongly recommended so you can catch the dragon implins along with the other high tier imps such as the crystal, ninja, magpie and nature implins also having 60 thieving as well. Also having a fairly high agility level will help as you'll be running around a lot. For the items you will need weight reducing clothing so full graceful I will definitely get that before doing this method one butterfly net or one magic butterfly net which you can get from Puro Puro which increases the chances of catching imps by an extra 8% and I'll show you how to get that later on in the video. Next which is optional but is strongly recommended and that is completing the Lumbridge and Draenor diaries so you won't need the Draymond or Lunar staff which does save an extra inventory slot for an extra implin jar and also be able to use fairy rings without the staff. So next you will need implin jars so I will just fill your inventory with the jars and next I will take two stamina pots as you'll be running around a lot. Next will be the runes to cast snare or entangle but only on the rare implins. For snare you will need 50 magic and for entangle you will need 79 magic. This is optional but this will save running around trying to catch the rare imps. For the quest requirements you will need to complete Lost City which is a quest you would normally do at the start of your account so this should be done already and this will give you access to Xanaris and this is the way to get to Puro Puro. Now talking of Xanaris I'm going to show you how to get there. It's very very simple so use the closest fairy ring you can whether it's in your POH, Edgeville or using your quest cape then just run north east and click on the crop circle to access Puro Puro. Now this is a maze so it is quite overwhelming at first and there isn't really a right or wrong way of starting but according to the Osiris wiki you should be starting at the southeast or the northwest corner and work your way round and there is more chance of seeing the rarer implins such as dragon. Now on a good day you can make a lot of money doing this if you come across the dragon implins or even lucky implins. Now on my account I think I've seen two and I've caught one of them and these can give you one roll on the drop table of an easy, medium, hard, elite or master clue. Obviously it's a very slim chance of getting something good but you never know hence why the imp is called lucky. Now according to the Osiris wiki you can get between 1 and 4 dragon implins within 1 hour which is really good and you can make between 300k and 1.2 mil. But of course you will need RNG on your side and even catching one dragon implin you'll be very very lucky. Now normally I'll be catching all the implins but obviously I've got a more challenging one and that is catching the rarer implins such as nature, magpie, ninja and of course the dragon and lucky implins. Hopefully I can make close to what the wiki mentions which is 560k but we'll see. Now before I go on to the tips and tricks I just want to change the subject a little bit. Recently two of my friends was getting 99 crafting at the same time and I thought I'd record this and add it in the video. But yeah, it's a really nice achievement which gives them the fastest banking in the game and one of the best capes along with construction. So yeah, congrats to both of you. Okay, so there's a few tips and tricks that I want to share with you now to make your Puro Puro experience a lot better. Now there is a room like setting called Implins which will help you find the rarer Implins and if you click on the cog it will show a bunch of settings and it's also a setting for each Implin. And if you choose Highlight it will show up on your minimap as you can see now if there's a certain Imp nearby. Not just in Puro Puro but anywhere in Gillinor. Also you can change the colours as well but I just left them to default. Now there's an NPC called Elnok Inquisitor, I think I've said that right, who is a gnome dressed in blue and is next to the entrance. Now when you talk to him there are certain items that you can get from him to make your imp catching a lot easier. So starting off you have the imp repellent which requires 3 baby implins, 2 young and 1 gourmet implin and this has 2 uses. So in the mini game the red imp defenders try to free captured implins from the jars from your inventory and knock the jar a few tiles away. But with high thieving levels the imp repellent decreases their chances so the lower tier implins are released first. But if an eclectic imp or higher is released it will despawn. Next we have the magic butterfly net which requires 3 gourmet implins, 2 earth and 1 essence implin. 
now this is what I mentioned at the start of the video and this net increases the chance of catching imps by an extra 8% which is quite a lot so I would recommend getting this as soon as possible. Next we have the jar generator which requires 3 essence implins, 2 eclectic and 1 nature implin and this creates either a butterfly or implin jars. Now you can only have one at a time and must use or destroy the other one before you can obtain another if that makes sense. The last item is self explanatory and you can get 3 implin jars per implin cult so catch the easiest ones which is the baby implins and this will save you banking a bunch of times. Now there's one more helpful tip which is optional and this is for people who don't want to run around. You can stand in one of the corners of Puro Puro and just keep hopping until you see the implin you want to catch. A lot of people do this as it saves your run energy but also as the wiki mentions if you stand in one of the corners you're more likely to grab yourself a rare implin. So I've been here for around 40 minutes now and no sign of a dragon implin but I had quite a few nature, magpie and ninja implins so not too bad but still on the hunt for a dragon implin or even a lucky implin. Now I haven't used any of my snare runes which is unusual just because I haven't seen any dragon or lucky implins so it looks like I'll be saving them runes for something else. Now this can be annoying just because you might want to catch a certain implin and it, when you push through the hay it does take around 5 seconds to pass and the time you get to the next area the implin will move away sometime to the area you was just in before you moved into the hay but that's why you have your snare or entangle runes but I suppose if I used them for most of the implins I would have made a bit more money but I think I've done well regardless. So I'm coming up to the one hour mark now and I'm just about to catch my last imp and I will be done. I think I've done pretty well so let's price check all the imps that I've caught and see how much profit I've made. Ok guys so here is all the implants that are caught within one hour, I know it's not a lot but that was just because I had to catch the high tier implants so let's see how much I've made. 693k now that's really really nice. Now minus the supplies which I used which was 5 stamina potions and that was 28k. I didn't use my runes and I only took them because in case I saw a dragon implant or a lucky implant. I also used 80 implin jars which cost me 56k so altogether I've made 609k GP profit. That is without any of the dragon implins or the lucky implins so definitely would have made more if I caught them implins. But nevertheless I'm really happy with the result. So let's go back to the Osiris wiki and compare the hourly rates. So the wiki is saying you can get 564k GP per hour and I've made just under 60k GP more within that hour so really pleased with that. So this is definitely worth doing if you're looking for fast money. Also this is great for Ironman as well so give this a go if you haven't already. So that is the end of the video guys. If you've liked it make sure you give this a big thumbs up like always. Comment below on what money maker I should be testing next and subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on those notifications so you'll be the first one to watch my videos. Until next time I'll see you guys in the next video.